What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, this is going to be a three-part series starting with checking the codes on an old OBD1 vehicle. I'm re-recording the audio because it's so windy on this day. You couldn't really hear anything I was saying. So this little device here that you'll find and usually it'll be inside of this little casing right here. You pull out that uh, pull that out of this casing, both of these parts and you're gonna have to create this little jumper. And you're gonna use this jumper. It's really simple, you just find any kind of a cable, like a, an electrical cable. I just use a little speaker wire. I mean, any kind of wire that's gonna pass current. And then you're just gonna use like a crimping tool to, you're gonna take the crimping tool, you're gonna obviously strip each side of the wire a little bit, put it into these male ends, and then crimp it down. And that's really that simple. I'm pretty sure y'all can handle making this little uh, jumper. And then once you have the jumper, you're gonna put it in the bottom left side like this. Uh, this is this is right here, this shot right here. You can see I put that in the bottom left side of the bigger. You should be able to find this, in, especially if it's a Ford vehicle, you will be able to find this. You put it in the bottom left-hand side of it. Look, you're looking straight at it here at the, you see four inserts on the top, two at the bottom. You put it on the bottom left, where there's two at the bottom, bottom left. So once you put that into that bottom left and kind of got it in there, it should go in there nice and smooth. Then you're going to take this other side, the other part of it is here, there's going to be an individual, and you're just going to put it in there. And then you've completed your jump. And the next step is to go into the vehicle, you're going to turn the key, not all the way, you're just going to turn the key, Not don't turn the vehicle on, we're going to turn the key part way just to power it up, and then watch, and preferably record if you have your little you know camera and your phone, so that you don't forget, record how many times it's gonna flash. It's gonna flash twice and pause, and you're gonna get a number. So let's do it. And I'll throw some codes. Here we go. Three, four, five, so five. Two, one, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. This is five and one. And then five and one again. One, two, three, four, Five, one. Five, one. So my code was clearly five, one. So what you do is once you find your code, you're gonna go online. You can just Google OBD1 codes or you can go straight to your, if this website is still up when you uh, check this video out, troublecodes.net slash four, this is where I go. Um, but I'm sure there's other lists online, but you know, you just wanna find OBD1 codes. So here we have Ford OBD1 codes. Okay, so if you got a code of a 1.7, throttle stop set too low, idle. And you research that code, research this problem, and try to figure out the issue. And you can maybe start testing parts, and from there you try to troubleshoot the issue, but this can really narrow it down. So here I have a 5.1, engine coolant temperature ECT sensor signal was, is was too high, ECT problem. This could be the issue. This is why my car is dying all of a sudden. I'm having issues, I got the check engine light. The engine coolant temperature sensor could be the issue. So there you have it. That's how you find out the code. This is part one of a three-part series. I decided to go ahead and change that sensor after doing some research, ECT sensor, but I also decided to go ahead and change out the thermostat while I was in there because I heard some stories here online about people who had this code and they ended up that, that the thermostat was the problem. Since this is an old van that has parts just failing all the time, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just change both those parts out as long as I'm in there. So the next two videos, one will change out the engine coolant temperature and the next will change out the thermostat so check those, those videos out if that's what you need but if you just needed to find out how to check out your code there you have it you guys have a great day hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe put your questions and comments down below we'll talk to you next time